Okay, Oscar's taking some measurements and using trigonometry to work out some angles, distance, areas, blah, blah, blah. Um, two adjacent fields. I think all the numbers are on the diagram. 30, 10, 35, 50, and ABC is... There's no right angles here. Find the area of field one and hence find the area of field two. So that's the formula. A half, 30, 35, sine 50. That's 402 meters squared. A half, 30 times 35 times 60. Now for the whole field, it would be a, so that's the first answer for field one. For the whole field, it's a half 40, that's the full length of the big triangle, 35 sine 50. And then if I subtract away my last answer, I'll get how much was for the extra piece field two. So 20 times 35 times sine 50 minus my previous answer. And that's 134 meters squared which looks about right, but four times smaller, three or four times smaller. I'm guessing they're going to, I'm not going to ask next now, the, oh, there's the space board. 402 and 134 meters squared. Um, find the length of the perimeter of field one. Yeah, so you want the missing side there. So that's the cosine rule. I call that X. So it's, x squared equals 30 squared plus 35 squared, isn't it? Yeah, minus twice, minus twice 30, 35, cos 50. Thirty squared plus 35 squared minus twice. 30 times 35 times cos 50. Uh, so the x is 27.84, blah, blah, blah. But it's the perimeter, so I'd have to add it to 35 and 30 to the nearest meter. So the perimeter will equal 93 meters. Right, Oscar is watching an airplane P fly overhead. He's standing at the point O in the diagram below the XX or trend wise this one vertical walk from Oscar to the plane. Ten kilometers. Sound travels at a speed of roughly that. As the airplane flies, its engine makes noise, it takes some time for the sound to reach Oscar. Use the information diagram. I want to show that it takes forty one seconds for the sound to reach Oscar. Right, well if that's ten, that's ten, and that's ten root two kilometers. So the time is the distance, 10 root 2 kilometers, over speed. Forty-one seconds to the nearest second. Uh, the airplane's flying at a constant speed of 255 per second. By the time Oscar hears the sound, the airplane may be one. The airplane is flown P2 on the diagram. Work out the size of angle. Okay, so it's traveling 255 meters per second. So by the time he hears the plane, it's already traveled for 41 seconds. So the distance will be the 41, which I still have on the calculator. I can use more decimals if I want to be more accurate. So the distance would be the uh, 41. I don't know. I never. I'm never sure if they want you to use the previous answer to be more accurate or the rounded answer. So if I just do the forty-one times two five five. Now I actually have forty-one point something something something. So the distance would be one zero five one three, but. If I didn't use the full decimals, it'd be 10, 4, 5, 5. So it's a small difference. Um, anyways, what are we looking for? The theta. So I know this distance. I know this distance. 
I know this angle. I want this angle here. Oh, I know this distance. Oh, it's 10. Actually, so I can know this distance here. It'll be 10,000 minus the... Or, okay, I don't need to calculate it. Because the, the distance it traveled was 10,513. So it means it must have been 513 here. And we know that this is 10,000. So 513 and 10,000. It's a tan inverse. Tan inverse 513 over 10,000 to one decimal place. That's 2.9 degrees. And by the way, if I use the the other number, would it have affected the decimal answer? Uh, yeah, it would have a tiny bit, 2.6 degrees. So, technically speaking, technically speaking, this is more accurate, but I think that when they usually ask you to round, they like you to use the rounded answer, but sometimes they give you marks either way. So, Depending if you used the rounded answer previously or not, you either get 2.6 or 2.9. Okay, P3 and P4 are two other points on the flight path. By the time Oscar is the sound of the plane made at point 3, the airplane is found to P4. P3 and P4 are distance D. Okay, explain briefly why the following equation holds true. Looks like a Pythagoras. This is 10. Ah, uh, looks like it's, okay, so this one is root 100 plus d squared, so that's that side there. That looks like it's coming about from the speed. The distance, the speed in kilometers per second or something. Distance over speed, distance, speed, time. So time, 2D. Yeah, okay, I think I see it now. So the idea here is that the time from P3 to P4 uh, would be the distance over the speed, which if, if D is in meters, is D in meters? Oh, D, sorry, D is in kilometers, yeah. So the speed is 0 0.255, it's distance over speed. Uh, and then um the time to hear it is again the distance which is square root d squared plus 10 squared over the speed in kilometers per second 0 0.343 which is square root d squared plus 100 over 0 0.343 and those times are the same because they're saying that the time it takes you to hear it is the same time it takes for it to travel from three to four. So uh, these two are equal. And then we have to solve that equation. Okay, so cross multiplying two by five root 100 plus d squared equals 2d times 0 0.343. That's 0 0.686. D and 0 0.255 root 100 plus D squared. I think I'll divide by the 0 0.255. So that's root 100 plus D squared equals, and that'll be 686 over 255 D. And then I'll square everything. So if I square that, and I'll take the d squared to the left. So I get 100 equals 
this messy number 7.237 blah 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 d squared minus d squared so that would be 6.237 blah 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 d squared so it'll be 100 over 6.237 equals d squared so just square root that Uh, one decimal place, D is 4.0 kilometers. Um, okay. Well, how far away was it in the... I already went 10 kilometers. Okay, so you can get a symmetric picture when it's far away, I think is what they're trying to say. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake there with my algebra right at the end. That would be unfortunate. You know what? Actually, I'll go back to the original equation and check that 4 works as a solution. Root 100 plus 4 squared over 0 0.343. Okay, that's about 18.39. Ooh, I think I made a mistake. Thirty one, sorry, thirty one point four. Thirty one point four. Yeah, okay, so D four does solve that equation. 